Chapter 35 Now Moses called a meeting of all the people and told them, You must obey these instructions from the Lord. Each week work for six days only. The seventh day is a day of total rest, a holy day that belongs to the Lord. Anyone who works on that day will die. Do not even light fires in your homes on that day. Then Moses said to all the people, This is what the Lord has commanded. Everyone is invited to bring these offerings to the Lord, gold, silver, and bronze, blue, purple, and scarlet yarn, fine linen, goat hair for cloth, tanned ram skins and fine goatskin leather, acacia wood, olive oil for the lamps, spices for the anointing oil and the fragrant incense, onyx stones and other stones to be set in the ephod and the chest piece. Come, all of you who are gifted craftsmen, construct everything that the Lord has commanded, the entire tabernacle, including the sacred tent and its coverings, the clasps, frames, crossbars, posts and bases, the ark and its poles, the ark's cover, the place of atonement, the inner curtain to enclose the ark in the most holy place, the table, its carrying poles, and all of its utensils, the bread of the presence, the lampstand and its accessories, the lamp cups and the oil for lighting, the incense altar and its carrying poles, the anointing oil and fragrant incense, the curtain for the entrance of the tabernacle, the altar of burnt offering, the bronze grating of the altar and its carrying poles and utensils, the large wash basin with its pedestal, the curtains for the walls of the courtyard, the posts and their bases, the curtain for the entrance to the courtyard, the tent pegs of the tabernacle and courtyard and their cords, the beautifully stitched clothing for the priest to wear while ministering in the holy place, the sacred garments for Aaron and his sons to wear while officiating as priests. So all the people left Moses and went to their tents to prepare their gifts. If their hearts were stirred and they desired to do so, they brought to the Lord their offerings of materials for the tabernacle and its furnishings and for the holy garments. Both men and women came, all whose hearts were willing. Some brought to the Lord their offerings of gold, medallions, earrings, rings from their fingers, and necklaces. They presented gold objects of every kind to the Lord. Others brought blue, purple, and scarlet yarn, fine linen, or goat hair for cloth. Some gave tanned ram skins or fine goatskin leather. Others brought silver and bronze objects as their offering to the Lord, and those who had acacia wood brought it. All the women who were skilled in sewing and spinning prepared blue, purple, and scarlet yarn and fine linen cloth, and they brought them in. All the women who were willing used their skills to spin and weave the goat hair into cloth. The leaders brought onyx stones and the other gemstones to be used for the ephod and the chest piece. They also brought spices and olive oil for the light, the anointing oil, and the fragrant incense. So the people of Israel, every man and woman who wanted to help in the work the Lord had given them through Moses, brought their offerings to the Lord. And Moses told them, The Lord has chosen Bezalel, son of Uri, grandson of Hur of the tribe of Judah. The Lord has filled Bezalel with the Spirit of God, giving him great wisdom, intelligence, and skill in all kinds of crafts. He is able to create beautiful objects from gold, silver, and bronze. He is skilled in cutting and setting gemstones and in carving wood. In fact, he has every necessary skill, and the Lord has given both him and Aholiab, son of Ahisamach of the tribe of Dan, the ability to teach their skills to others. The Lord has given them special skills as jewelers, designers, weavers, and embroiderers in blue, purple, and scarlet yarn on fine linen cloth. They excel in all the crafts needed for the work.